You know, when this guy's on form, you know, a pleasure to watch. And when this guy's on form, an absolute joy to watch. So if they're both on form, we are in for one hell of a game here in Germany. At the German Darts Championship. It's nice and sunny outside. And it's certainly getting warm in here. I think Adrian Lewis, his game, has been playing really well at the moment. Just got to keep that third dart tight. When he gets a couple of trebles, don't throw it away. Make sure it counts every time. And with Barney, well, if Lewis gets in front, don't want to see the head shaking. You know, we want to see a bit of grit and determination. Well, we saw Adrian Lewis race to a 5-0 lead over Joey Polferman in his second round match. And then he admitted afterwards that he did take his foot off the gas a little bit. Ended up winning 6-3. Early on in that game, he was averaging over 106. Meanwhile, Raymond Barnevel was here on Thursday night in the European qualifier rounds to get his place in the main championship. Played two qualifying matches on Thursday night, then took on fellow Dutchman Ron Moulenkamp in the first round and beat him 6-1. And then a 98 average saw him beat Dave Chisnell 6-2 yesterday. Well, a pretty tidy start from Adrian Lewis. 12 darts thrown, wants 76. And with the throw, not going to lose too many if you can keep it under 15 darts with the throw. Well, he may get six darts from here, but wants to wrap it up in three. This will settle him down, a nice little level 15 dart leg. And that's exactly what Adrian Lewis has done. Not a lot wrong with the starting leg for Adrian Lewis. What I like about Adrian Lewis is you, you don't know what's going to go on. Yeah. Just going to say, he can just go up there and flick a 180 in and as I'm thinking to say it, he goes up and does it. Yes, his style at times just looks so nonchalant the way he flings those darts at the board. But then he'll just hit a 120, uh, 180 and make it look as easy as anything. Uh, two of the sport's biggest names and Adrian Lewis reaching finals of the match play and the Masters up in Edinburgh. Winning a European Championship event back in July, a Players' Championship win in Dublin, so another fruitful year for the man from Stoke-on-Trent. Well, he took 76 out in the first leg. Got a nice little level 15 dart. 15 darts, he wants 89 now, as Barney puts the pressure on. Well, he's only going to go the dart at the bullseye. Bullseye for Adrian Lewis for 2-0, and he does it. The 15th dart again goes in, and he takes an early 2-0 lead over Raymond van Barneveld. Well, I did say blink and you miss it. And Adrian's certainly not hanging around here this afternoon. I mentioned that uh, Masters final in Edinburgh that uh, Adrian Lee reached on the way to that final. He defeated Barney in the semi 10-9. As you'd expect from two players who've been playing at the top of the sport for the last few years. They've met each other over, over 30 times in competition. Well, the second maximum of the match for Raymond Van Barneveld. He's 2-0 down. I'm trying a little bit in this leg, although that 180 got him back in the leg. He still needs to find a couple of trebles with this visit. Well, advantage just of Barneveld, certainly now in this leg. So a two-dart finish for Barney when he comes back to 60. 
break back here. Well, that was a bad first start from Raymond. Didn't even have a dart at the bullseye from 89, and he's let Lewis in now, and it will be with the throw. And the Lewis is going for them 19s. Four 19s leaves him double top. Can't see if that second one, the first one, was in. So he was 100% on doubles. He's missed one. Let's Barney in. Eight or a 16. That leaves double 16. And it gets him back in the game, and it's a break of throw. And you really feel Barney needed that. Wouldn't want to have gone three behind against a player of Lewis's calibre. Yeah, he'd be disappointed. I mean, two nil up, and then having the throw, and the way he was playing two level fifteen darters in them in first two legs. He'd have expected that in, then push on, and at 3 0, you know, Adrian's an incredible leader, very hard to, to get back when he is leading. Well, the way he just flicks them darts in is incredible. Two totally different throws. Barney, the first dart, is very methodical, making sure that's in the perfect position, and the first one's in there. The other two oh, follow pretty oh, smartly. This is what the fans were hoping for from these two guys. Back to back ton 80s. And a round ton to draw us level at 2 2. He wants double top, does the Dutchman. Well, we told all of you that are watching, wherever you are in the world, that this would be something exceptional. And already, two legs all. You've seen an exceptional game of darts. Two very experienced players. And there we have it. 102 for Barney. We're just under the 103 and just over the 100 for 80. We'll bring you the other stats in a minute. The first nine dart stats would be very interesting to see. Especially Lewis's. Well, there we have the first nine darts. Yeah, I thought Lewis would be leading. The first two legs were exceptional. They would be looking to push them up though, Mike. You know, for these two players, just over the 100 is, is really not what they're looking for. They're looking for around 115 for those first nine. That's where all the damage is done. And that's a sign of the way the standards have risen and the sort of averages you need to be putting in to be competing at the very top of the game these days. Well, he's got a three there, which leaves a nine on the right-hand side of his numbers, so he's going to have to come down. He, he's let Barney off there, really, because a big score would have put some pressure on, so who can go out in six darts from here? Barney having the first chance, and this would be a break of throw, and three legs on the trot. That leaves him double 18 for the big Dutchman. and uh, Lewis just making a bit of a dog's dinner of that uh, leg and allowing Barney to take the lead for the first time in this match. This is one that you would have put money on going all the way to the 11th and deciding leg. Well, the change in Lewis's game from the first two legs, he is, I call it scruffy or scrappy scoring. You know, the 85s, 95s, instead of the straight tons and the 140s. Where in that first leg, they're all ton, ton 40, ton, ton 80s. He's just gone off the ball. Well, that's going to help out an awful lot. That's what I mean from Ada, you know, the five, although the 125 is a great score, we know that. 
you knock 15 points off of that, leaves him 1-3-2. He can get out from 1-3-2 a lot easier than he can from 1-4-7. And Barney putting some real pressure on this 1-4-7. Uh, Double 18. So double 16 then for Barney to stretch his lead to 4-2. Yes. Well, from 2-0 up to 4-2 down. And Lewis has got to stop the rot here, and it is with his throw, otherwise it's going to be curtains. Barney looking very focused. Lewis seeded 15 here, and uh, as we mentioned, Barney not seeded and having to qualify to take part in this tournament. But it's just enjoyable to watch the, the pace of both players, especially when they're banging in scores like this. Well, it's certainly Barney now that has uh, taken over on the power scoring, Mike. And AD, as I said, he's, he's just wasting too many darts. Against other players, you're going to get away with it. Uh, against Barney in this sort of mood, you're not. And against any other top player, well, double 14. Well, this is to hold the throw, and you feel that he's got to take this out if he's going to stay in this game. Well, double 18. Oh, this is... He had a dart at double 18 for a 147 earlier on and put it inside. And this time, he's put it outside. So, Barney comes back to make it five legs to two, and this will be for five legs on the trot. Sorry, it's double seven that Barnvelt wants. Barney knew what he wanted. Got the double seven to go to within one leg of victory. Well, dramatic stuff here on the big stage in Hildesheim. What a way to kick off what could be your winning leg with a ton 80. This huge former aircraft hangar in Hildesheim. The noise reverberating around this auditorium every time one of the stars gets a big score, a big out shot. And I'm sure the noise levels will ratchet up as we go through into the evening towards tonight's final. You see the smooth action of Raymond van Barneveld there, doesn't move his head. AD just lost a little bit of rhythm, just pushing the dart, see? And the pushing the dart brings the right shoulder forward. And if you move the right shoulder forward, it, you lose your height a little bit, and uh, nine times out of 10, it will go low. And all is a little bit of rhythm. But AD's in this sort of mood where I don't think it's going to upset him. But if you'd have said that someone was going to roll off six legs on the trot against Adrian Lewis, I'd have taken you somewhere where they had the padded walls. <laughs> <laughs> so 95 for the match. Well, he's taken the option to go for the treble, which doesn't guarantee him a dart where the 25. So he's let Lewis in here. Double 13. 68. And again, it's three doubles that AD's missed. But he's let Barney in to sew this game up. Double 10 for the match. Well, not as close as an encounter as we expected between these two multiple world champions. 1 6 to 2 Erfolg von Raymond van Barneveld nachdem er 0 zu 2 hinten lag in den Legs. Er steht im Viertelfinale. Er steht im Viertelfinale.
King versus Baxter is on stage next. Average Stay with us. Von 100 und